Good happy Wednesday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, New Hampshire woman attends presidential address to highlight opiate crisis. Let's take a listen to this video from WMUR News 9, Jean Mackin. Propane and oil and no one beats us. No one has a lower price on home heating oil in your area than we do. But if another company does, we'll beat their price. If you can see this ad, we can service you. Rhymes, meeting your energy needs for over 40 years. Learn more at rhymes.com. Tonight I am also calling on this Congress to repeal and replace Obamacare. <laughs> It was a divided Congress when President Donald Trump proposed overhauling health care. And in that audience, Ashley Herto from Dover invited guest of Senator Maggie Hassan. They posted this video on Twitter before the president's address. I invited her to Washington so we can focus on how important it is to maintain Medicaid expansion, which is helping thousands of people in New Hampshire. And that means we really can't afford to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Ashley is the face of the Speak Up New Hampshire campaign, promoting recovery and fighting the stigma tied to drug use. She says her heroin addiction left her homeless, even behind bars, until she found treatment. Because I was on Medicaid expansion, I was um, able to flee into a program and was given the opportunity to turn my life around. She was there in person to hear the president address the drug epidemic. We will stop the drugs from pouring into our country and poisoning our youth, and we will expand treatment for those who have become so badly addicted. Now, Senator Maggie Hassan issued a statement after the speech saying just moments ago the president's policies would, quote, harm our efforts to combat the heroin, fentanyl, and opioid crisis, take away health insurance coverage from tens of thousands of Granite Staters. Ashley Herto now returns home to her work at the Safe Harbor Recovery Center, helping others struggling with addiction. Live in the studio, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Trader Joe's employee hit, killed by vehicle in parking lot. Let's take a listen to this video from WCVB Boston. This June, when more than 50 historic vessels from over 20 countries converge upon Boston Harbor. Come experience the parade of sail and enjoy four days of public activities, all free. Learn more at sailboston.com. At first glance, this appears to have been a tragic accident. And behind me, over there on the tow truck, is uh, the gray Chevy Suburban that is the, the focal point now of this accident. A female employee, a well-loved wife and mother, was leaving her job at Trader Joe's around 7 p.m. tonight when she was struck and killed in the parking lot by that vehicle. Um, there are many other businesses in the shopping plaza, so you can imagine how many people saw this happen and saw the tragic aftermath. Police say there are a lot of upset people in this town tonight. Police say it was a young man in his early 20s who hit the victim. He was backing up that Chevy Suburban and ran over her. He did stay. He did stay, and he's very upset. Horrible, horrible. It seems like an accident at this time, but we're still investigating. Now the store quickly closed and Trader Joe's employees could be seen wiping away tears. They declined to speak on camera out of respect for the victim's family who did come to the scene. But co-workers and customers both told me that this woman was extremely well liked. She was vibrant, a friendly person who loved her family and really embraced life. Uh, people here are just still really in shock that this has happened. And police have told us that they hope to release the victim's name sometime tonight. But they're waiting for now and questioning the young driver of that gray Chevy Suburban at police headquarters right now. We're live in Acton. I'm Mary Salada, WCDB News Center 5. All right, Mary, sad. So this right here. Okay, and there you go on that report. Maine Bill seeks to 
Ban Flame Residence in New Furniture. Maine firefighters and environmentalists are asking lawmakers to pass a bill that would ban the use of flame residents in new furniture. The firefighters say that when foam and upholstery treated with those chemicals burn, they give off smoke flames, and particles that can be ecological. Maine has already banned several specific chemicals as flame resistance in furniture. Environmental group Prevent Harm, which helped write the bill, wants to ban all of them. Former State Senator Linda Baker of Topsham told lawmakers Monday that her husband, a former fire chief, died from cancer and she believes it was caused by breathing toxic chemicals from a burning car. The State Department of Environmental Protection opposed the bill, saying it's too broad and that the cost to consumers could be significant. Sorry about that, everyone. Trump calls for new government agency for victims and crime by immigration. President Donald Trump called on the Department of Homeland Security to create an office to serve American victims of crimes committed by immigrants. President Trump brings new tone to old promises. President Trump began a new phase of his presidency Tuesday night with a new tone, upbeat if only by Trump standards and just maybe looking to make a few deals. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Wednesday. See you back here later on today. Goodbye, everyone.